Hello there, Jeff Snow from First Baptist Church in Port Hope, Ontario. And if you watched our messages over the last little while, you can see no hat. I finally was able to get a haircut. Things have changed in COVID world in Ontario a little bit. And so now I could free myself from the hats. Although I like hats, you may still see hats in the future and then messages that we do. Also, if you're watching this on the date when it's meant, intended for, which is June 14, 2020, you'll know that the province of Ontario has changed the rules concerning churches, and churches are able to open starting in June the 14th at a limited capacity. And uh, we decided we're going to hold off a little bit on that. So yeah, we're not I'm still talking to you <laughs> online June the 14th. Um, Later in June, we may be open on a Sunday morning. So check out our Facebook page, which is Port Hope First Baptist. Just you know, type in Port Hope First Baptist in the search engine on the Facebook page, and we will put a message there to let you know when we are open in person. And even once we are open in person, I think we're still going to be doing things with our YouTube channel. We are posting older sermons and some new messages and some songs. And so we want to keep doing that. And if you've been enjoying uh, and receiving a blessing or encouragement or a challenge from some of the messages that we've had, then uh, keep watching because it will be here. I wanted to talk today about the idea of being brokenhearted. Brokenhearted. And as I was thinking about it, I was thinking about uh, popular songs. The songs that um, go way back that talk about being brokenhearted. And I, I was kind of assuming that they would be songs about a relationship breaking right? up that would leave someone brokenhearted. You know, we we often hear songs on, in popular culture, and um, we think we know what they mean, and we think we know what the words are, but we don't really stop to, to really listen see what it's all about. So there were these two songs about being brokenhearted that came to my mind immediately when I thought about the idea of having a broken heart. And um, when I looked them up online and read through the words, I discovered they weren't really about what I thought they were. Here, let me, let me show you. Let me show you. Um, first one is the Bee Gees. This was before they were... Uh, Saturday Night Live, not Saturday Night Live, Saturday Night Fever, like, uh, you know, Staying Alive and Night Fever. They did a lot more ballads back then. And um, this is these are the words to a song that was they performed and, and recorded in 1971, How Can You Mend a Broken Heart? And you look through the, the lines, it talks about, I could think of younger days when living for my life was everything a man could want to do. I could never see tomorrow, but I was never told about the sorrow. Um, how can you mend a broken heart? How can you mend this broken man? How can a loser like me ever win? Um, misty memories of days gone by, we could never see tomorrow. And I was looking at the lyrics, and I'm like, this has nothing to do with. Uh, this has nothing to do with um, the fact that. Nothing to do with a breakup of a relationship. This has more to do with with what life is all about. Yeah, I found the right button. Press. This has more to do with somebody whose life didn't turn out how they expected it. They thought about what life was like as a young man, and things didn't turn out quite the way they thought. They had these dreams of younger days, and it just has become a memory. And They've ended up being broken. They've ended up with a really horrible self-image. How can a loser ever win? Um, the good in life that they see in life is all about memories. And I think a lot of people can relate to that way of thinking. I think all of us at one point in our life can probably relate to, to the, the message that this person, the Bee Gees, are singing in this song. Um, but what does God's word have to say about it? Well, here's one verse we'll look at here. In Psalm 34, verse 18, 
It says, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The one promise we have from the Lord is that he will never leave us, and he will never forsake us, and he is always near and he is always close, and he is especially close to the brokenhearted. The church I grew up in was in Greenfield Park, Quebec, and for 12 years my pastor was Pastor Robert Gibb. He was a really good preacher. And anybody who went to Greenfield Park Church in the, in the 80s will remember his brokenness sermon, where he just talked about how a place of brokenness is an opportunity to feel the nearness of God. Sometimes we don't turn to God. Sometimes we don't really feel and know who God is. We don't, we don't allow him to work on our lives until we allow ourselves to be broken, until we recognize our own brokenness and we, we take it to the Lord. And Psalm 34, 18 promises us that God is close to us when we're brokenhearted. He is close to us when, when life is falling to pieces whether that's individually or in our families or, or in the world around us. Like we've been experiencing in so many different ways in the last couple of months. I feel like things are kind of going to pieces. But God is closer than ever and wants to be closer than ever to us in those times. And then it says he's close to the brokenhearted and he saves those who are crushed in spirit. And we feel like... A loser when we feel like things are just crushing down on us. God wants to let us know that He wants to save us from that. He wants to deliver us, deliver us from that sense of just being, being crushed down all the time. He wants to lift us up. In the Hebrew, the yeah, word for crushed also means contrite, which means being sorry for what you've done. And I think sometimes. Being brokenhearted and experiencing brokenness can be a result of all the stuff that's going on around us that is beyond our control and we can't do anything about. But sometimes we come to a place of brokenness because of the decisions that we've made and the logical consequences of those decisions have put us into that place where things are broken and where we start to feel like Things are falling apart and we're broken. But if we come to God with a contrite spirit, crushed spirit, a spirit that says, I'm sorry, a spirit of repentance that says, I want to do things differently and I don't know how to. The song says, please help me mend my broken heart. How can that just happen? And so that's our prayer to God. He wants us to come to him and say, God, I, 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 how can we mend this broken heart? How can we put things back together again? I come to you with a heart that is broken, with a heart that's sorry, that's contrite for, for my part in this, and a heart that's kind of perplexed and, and broken over things that have happened to me that, that I had no control over. So much of us happens to us in life as we grow up and to life that, that, that are beyond our control that break us. God's promise is that he's close to the broken heart. He wants to save, deliver, put the pieces back together again. The second song that I thought of that came to mind, and I, I uh, didn't know who sang this. I, I heard it before. It was, written, it was published in 1966. So it was a song of the 60s. A guy named Jimmy Ruffin apparently did it. Who knew? And it's What Becomes of the Broken Hearted. I walk this land with broken dreams. I have visions of many things, but happiness is just an illusion filled with sadness and confusion. I've got to find some peace of mind. Every day heart heartaches grow a little stronger. I can't stand this pain much longer. I walk in, in shadowsm. Yeah, apparently it's shadowsm. Searching for light, cold and alone, no comfort in sight. I've got to find and peace of mind. All that's left, left is an unhappy ending. What becomes of the brokenhearted? So what happens? God promises to be near us, promises to deliver, but, but how? What becomes of us when we are broken? 
Let me share the second scripture verse from Psalms with you. It's Psalms 147, verse 3, and it says, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He heals the brokenhearted and he binds up their wounds. God wants us to come to him with our broken heart, even if we're feeling like cold and alone and in sadness and confusion and feeling that prospect of happiness is, is, is illusory. We just, we'll never be able to find it. But God wants to heal that. He wants to mend it, to repair, to put back together again what it is about ourselves that has been broken in pieces. And he wants to bind it up. It's like taking a bandage and wrapping it around a wound and, and holding it together again. A splint on a broken leg. He wants to, to bring comfort to us in our distress. He wants to bind together the things that are broken, our wounds, the, the, the things that have hurt us, the things that have caused us injury and pain and sorrow. And again, those could be things that that we've brought upon ourselves because of our own decisions. God wants us to come with a contrite and story heart. He will save, put things back together again. Or maybe it's, it's just stuff that happened to us growing up or, or things that, again, are, are just beyond our control. He wants to bring healing. He wants to bind up the wounds, the, the sorrows of our lives wants to heal the brokenhearted. That's what can become of the brokenhearted. So whether it's be, you're feeling this way because three months of dealing with the pandemic has just become too much, whether you're dealing this way because the last two weeks of watching what has happened with the George Floyd murder and everything around it has just left you brokenhearted, whether it's just life situations that have piled one on top of the other for months or even years. Whatever it is that makes you feel brokenhearted, know from, from the Psalms, know from God's heart that he is near. He's especially near to those of us who are broken. And that he promises to deliver and he promises to save. He promises to bring healing to repair what's going on, what's been broken, and to put back together what's been broken by pain and sorrow. It may take a while, it may be a process, but if we turn our broken hearts over to God, He will begin to the work. You will know, I believe immediately, that He is near, that He loves you, and then He will begin the process working with us Heal that which is broken. Father, I thank you for your closeness. I thank you, Lord, that that you are very near to us when we don't have it all together. Help us to admit our broken places. Help us to admit our part in causing them to break. Help us, Lord, to come to grips with the the things in our lives that are beyond our control that have broken us in different ways. And Lord, I just pray that you would be with everyone who hears this, who is especially brokenhearted right now, and that they would know your goodness. They would know that you are close, that you long to, to heal, you long to save, you long to bind up wounds. And I pray that even today would be the beginning of a healing beginning of putting back together that which is broken. Lord, I thank you for loving us so much, even in our brokenness. And I pray, Lord, that we would take that and use that as an opportunity to get to know you in your reality and the reality of who you are and that you would put us back together again. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Check out our Facebook page, and I don't know right this minute, but check out our Facebook page to see if our church is open June 21st. And even if we are, um, you'll see, still see some stuff here on our YouTube channel that you can enjoy from home. So hope you have a great week. God bless.
talk to you again soon.